Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a Equitana vlog. So I am about to drive to the airport to fly to Melbourne to go to Equitana. I have tickets for the general admission tomorrow, which is a Saturday. And then I have um, tickets to the horsemanship day on Sunday. So I'm super excited. I'm going by myself, so I'm a little bit nervous. And I also don't like flying by myself. I mean, I don't like flying with anyone, but I more nervous to fly by myself but anyway i hope you guys enjoy this vlog i am so excited to go to equitana i'm not going to ramble on about it because i feel like i'm just excited <laughs> so i will check in with you guys shortly and hope you enjoy this vlog hotel room it is actually so cute it's very nicely presented in an oldish looking building but it's all been revamped i had a good flight i just couldn't uber here and now i'm gonna have a nap and i'm going to get ready to go out to dinner with equinade I decided to go for a little walk and I'm not going to film this very much because I'm like walking in a main road and it's super embarrassing but yeah going for a walk with a full face of makeup on because I'm just that guy but no in all seriousness I'm going out to dinner tonight and I can't be bothered taking my makeup off so I'm just going to redo it and I'm going to stop filming now I'll talk to you guys later I just had like a 10 minute nap I never nap in makeup, but I was like, if I take no makeup off, I'm gonna have way less time to get ready for my dinner. So I'm just being absolutely disgusting. I never do this, but it was like a 10 minute nap. I don't wanna do my whole face again. So I'm getting ready to go out to dinner with Equinade, um, which I'm really excited about. Um, I have half an hour to get my face on proper and get changed. I'll show you guys what I'm gonna wear. At the moment, I'm in my pajamas. <laughs> my Jack Russell socks Ooh. and my Jack Russell socks with a big bleach stain at the bottom. Also check out my fat, my tan fail. <laughs> I look like Michael Jackson. Okay, I'm all ready for my dinner with Equinade. This is what I'm wearing. It's pretty cute. Hopefully I can do some filming when I see the ladies otherwise. This is what I'm wearing. Hi everyone, say hello to the wonderful ladies from Equine. We just had a really yummy dinner and I'm gonna stop talking and I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> dinner with Equinade and it was really nice to meet the ladies that run and own Equinade. Such a nice dinner and I didn't feel too lonely being in Melbourne here by myself. I am in bed now watching the Shawshank Redemption on the tiniest TV in the entire world but I want to get an early one tonight because I'm getting up super early to head off to actual Equitana. I will catch up with you guys in the morning. day one for me just getting ready now I'm so excited I cannot wait I'm gonna try and get there really early so I woke up early so I can leave um, and be there when the gates open because I don't want to miss anything and there's a few things that I want to go see straight away so I'm gonna go do that okay guys I am just waiting for my uber on the way to Equitana this is what I'm wearing I thought I would go with like a bit of a Western theme <laughs> I don't know 
Well, I'm at Et Katana, just filming myself like an absolute idiot. Um, I'm going to write my poem into a card and then I'm going to go find Warwick Chiller. So. Hey guys, wish me luck. I'm going to give Warwick my poem. I've written him some nice words and then I wrote my poem here. Ran out of room, classic me. And finish it off here. And then also did a little shout out to my beautiful friend, Amalia, who first inspired me to find my way in natural horsemanship. And I'm literally crying because I wrote my poem out. So anyway, I'm gonna go find him. And we are mammals. We don't get told not to anthropomorphize. You know, don't project human qualities onto the I'm just going to match that to him for a second while I'm talking here. Um, so, what I'm doing right now is blending him with him like a herd member would. We're just going to go work together here. So, horses are mammals. We're mammals. And we get told to anthropomorphize, which means don't project human qualities onto non human creatures or objects or whatever. Uh, well, he likes it. He wants to say hello. But we forget to we forget to mammalize. You know, all mammals have the same nervous system. Okay, and you're you're aware of what fight and flight are. Okay, so you fight and flight when you're worried. After that comes freeze. But before hang on, this is the second one. We can talk about that. Later. Before any mammal goes into fight or flight, when something happens, first they go to another end. It's not fight, flight, or freeze. The first F is friends. They go, hey, how do you feel about this situation? And so when David handed me the lead rope, I wasn't, I didn't turn my back over and talk to you guys. The first thing I did, I was ready to do it. And if he came and said hi, I said, hey, hey. And then he's just going to go here uh, a minute ago, too. So right now, you guys up here, can you go see his, his muzzle twitch there? I was going to say, his muzzle was really twitching. Right there, and what will happen after that muzzle twitch? Now, you can see it jumping up. You guys can see it jump. He'll have a lip and chew. He's wearing the pants, and I'm wearing the skirt. <laughs> you should go with, you know, the old patriarchal ballroom dancing, where the woman is dictated by the man. He's wearing the he's wearing the pants, I'm wearing the skirt. And so this matching steps. If you watch him when he walks off, his weight will shift first, like. That and then I move my foot. So you see, I knew he was going to go before he went. So I can walk off maximum steps with him, not half a step behind him because I'm present and I'm aware. And I saw his weight shift forward. And as it shifted forward, I went, he, like, he told me I'm about to go. And then we went together. Now, when he comes to the fence, he's going to stop right here. And I'm going to stop as he stops. Just got myself some fish and chips for lunch. I'm going to sit here and eat my lunch for myself and then go and buy some stuff. So, yum. It's like the first thing I've eaten all day. Because these horses right now are at liberty 
to do whatever they want, however they want, for as long as they want. And as our job as educators and, and, and entertainers to be able to get them to do as we ask. And so this is a young team. We have uh, two four-year-olds in the far right and a beautiful chestnut we have here on the left. And they are brother and sister, the buckskin horse is a brother to that there, and he is whispering in her ear and telling her that she's not pretty and the boys don't like her. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put them together as a team. The way that we work a team is that there's no I in team. Haki says there is an M and an E, and he says me a lot, but there's no I in team. So I'm going to move them around, and I'll, I'll try and do it uh, slow, not to move them up too much. So right now I will not look at these horses for longer than a second. They're just right now, they're training cones. They're the prettiest and most expensive training cones in the world. They cost about $100 to feed a week. And they yawn if they think that your movement's not very good. Oh, Candice, why don't you that go there? Those horses are just stand still until I invite them to move. You notice I don't look at them because if I look at them, I don't want them to come to me. So, I'm going to come and stop with it. It's about three metres is the gap that I use when I'm working with them. So if I get within a three metre gap of them, I'm going to invite him over to be down here. He should stay there. It's close enough and he's standing still so I'm going to come with him. I put it in slow motion because if he did it at normal, at the real speed, it would be too fast because it's not that he was going to stop. Hey guys, I am having an absolute blast at Equitana. So um, I think I've included quite a bit so far. I will have put a few videos in of what I've been up to on day one. Um, but it's really hard because I've been making Instagram stories and trying to do videos for YouTube. So I'm like, I don't know, actually know what I filmed. If I didn't do enough stories or um, videos for YouTube, I will have put some videos from my stories in just to try and bulk it out a bit. But I thought I would go over what I've purchased. So this is only day one, so I still have time. All right, so I got this from, oh, I don't know, Newmarket Savillery. So it is a 5.3 um, fly rug for Flashy. I really wanted to get matchy matchy ones for Flash and Puzzle, but they didn't have the green ones in a 5.9 and then they didn't have these really pretty blue ones in a 5.3. So I was like, whatever, they don't have to match. Even though I'm like crying a little bit on the inside because it would have been so cute having them match out in the paddock. Um, so I got this one for puzzles. So it's got a really high UV rating, but it's also um, really, really, really strong. So sadly, my Ponyo one has been a little bit ripped by puzzles. So no offense puzzle, I'm not gonna spend $250 on a fly rug for you to so he got this one, um, which I think is really cute anyway. Um, and apparently it's like a super strong material. So hopefully no more ripping of the fly rug for puzzle. And I got these both for like $65 each, which I was like, Bargain. anyway, enough of that. Honestly, like one of my favorite purchases for the whole day has got to be this bag from the reject shop. I went to the reject shop before I went into Equitana because I was like, I don't think I want to carry everything around. And it was like $2 and it was a lifesaver today. Also, someone asked me if I purposely matched it with my top and I was like, you're done. Alright, so the zip shit. this little sample from My Divine. It's their builder range. Um, I actually was not interested in purchasing their builder range, but I talked to the lady and I was like, hmm, this is so interesting because I just wanted some free treats. Um, so it's part of their like conditioning builder, um, but I don't feed My Divine. I um, am happy with my horse feed at the moment, so I'm not gonna change it because if it works, don't change it, right? Anyway, I'll just use these for treats because I'm sure the horses will like them. So, so is my divide if you're watching. I was just pretending to be interested. <laughs> no, that's not true. She actually had a lot of good information, but I'm just not changing. Oh, then I spoke to the people from Martin Collins Australia Arena Surfacing and just had a chat to him about some arena stuff because I really want to get our arena put in as soon as possible. Josh, if you're watching this, hurry up. I know you're saying it's happening, but 
win. Although I'm not quite sure I'm gonna go with these people because the guy was kind of a jerk. Um, he was just like, I don't know, he kept looking at me like as if he was too good for me. It's probably just me being insecure, but he was like at me when I said we wanted to do our own fencing. And I'm like, well, mate, like if we wanna do our own fencing, get over it. And it literally says we can assist you with arena construction bulk earthworks like if we only need the earthworks go away we don't want your fencing anyway it was probably just me being a baby but martin collins australia if you're watching you need to work on your personal skills um then i also got this safe tea tie um i've had like a blocker tie before but it was like a hundred dollars and i lost it so i'm like not gonna reinvest in that um so i got this um safety tie i guess um which i told the guy i've used one before but i don't i haven't i don't know why i said it i was like yeah i've used it and then i got it and then i'm like wait what I, i'm pretty sure it's i mean how hard can it be you know oh there we go okay so and then the horse is like nee! and then that doesn't work nee! okay all right Oh, okay, yeah, so obviously like the more you have it on the stronger it is so maybe we'll go up here for flush Yeah, anyway, I got one of these they were like it was like two ten dollars Bargain, oh, I also got a bit bank card because I want to get um, a bit fitter out because I just feel like I don't have Correctly fitting bits even though I'm going to be trying to ride in bitless anyway when I'm riding in bits, I kind of want it to be comfortable. And I've just kind of guessed what my horses need and I feel like it's probably wrong. Um, got this cute little fake pony, which I'm going to send to my friend. She was like, these are so cute. And I was like, I got one. And I'm definitely not gonna keep it because I don't like random stuff like this. I mean, it's cute, but I'm not gonna keep it. Oh, and then I got, ooh, oh. um, And then I got these really pretty earrings. So these are Sally Sanders. Um, I have my stirrup, stirrup. Have you guys seen the Horse Whisperer? The way that Scarlett Johansson says stirrup is stirrup. It's really funny. Stirrup. I'll try and put the clip in. I got this stirrup um, necklace from Amalia um, and I wanted some earrings to match, but I'm probably going to have, my, have to get my little wire cutters out and cut the back of it because earrings always I don't know, maybe I've got thin lobes, but my, my, the back of my head always gets stabbed so bad whenever I have studs in, like every single pair of earrings I get. I get out my little um, wire cutters and I cut the back off it. I just can't go on. Getting stabbed in the head. Uh, that's what my bad thoughts are for. Anyway, how cute are they? Whoops, it's a bad lock. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh my goodness, these nails are impossible. Okay, cute, aren't they? So, I'm gonna put the other one in because I can't deal with not having the other one in, even though I'm gonna take them out in a second because I'm not gonna sleep with these in. Because of the whole stabbing thing. Then I got this book. I am so excited about this book. This is Warwick Schiller's Principles of Training. Um, I've been religiously following Warwick Schiller's teaching over the last couple of months. He is so amazing. I met him today um, and I could have cried. I um, gave him my poem that I wrote. So I wrote a poem a couple of months ago and I wrote it into a card for him and gave it to him. Um, and then we had a selfie together and I bought his book and then I went and got him a custard, a vanilla slice. And he came up to me afterwards and he goes, that was the best vanilla slice I've ever had. And I was like, And every time I talked to him, I was just like, <laughs> um, so he probably thinks I'm a freak, but whatever. I bought his book. I cannot wait to read it. Um, yeah, really excited to get into this one. It was only like 30 bucks. I'm pretty sure you can get it in December online, but it was an Equitana special. Then I got the, the, I went into the Harry Pony store. I just like, the Harry Pony is like so chic, but I just wanted to get a few things. So I got these like little sponges which like you wet them and then they go like quadruple the size so i was like just want to get some of these because i like getting like little little um 
little things like that when you go away. It's kind of fun. So just got that. Sorry. How cute is this color? This is like classic Western color. Um, not that I am doing Western, but whatever. Okay. So I got this halter, which I'm going to use on puzzle probably most of the time um, because I'm going to be going transitioning into riding bitless as much as I can. It's kind of part of like just my relationship with the horses, like working on like the most basic things that I can um, with them. So starting from scratch, I guess, with their, all of their training. Um, and then she showed me how to tie it. I, I, I can't remember, I'm gonna have to look it up on the website. But anyway, um, apparently it's one size fits all, but I feel like Flash is going to defy those odds. So I just bought one and if I can fit it on Flash, I'll get another one. If not, um, it sucks to be Flash. Um, so yeah, this was like, oh, I can't remember. It was like a hundred dollars or something like that. It might've been 120. I didn't actually look at the price because I just really wanted it. I looked everywhere for a Bozal bridle at a Hackamore. Could not find anywhere that sold one. And everyone that I asked were like, mm, we don't know. So anyway, that is everything that I purchased. I hope you guys enjoyed that little talk through. Hopefully I can buy some more stuff tomorrow because I'm not done yet. Um, and I have 23 kilograms of check and carrot um, baggage that I can go through and that's about 10. Anyway, I'll chat to you guys tomorrow. I'm not going to keep talking. Well, good morning, Graham. I thought I would just say hi before I head off to Ekatana for my day two. This is the amount of concealer that is needed to cover up these bad boy eye bags. <laughs> Check in with you guys soon. Okay, Equitana day two for me. It is the last day of Equitana. I'm so excited. I'm about to head there now. I was just um, about to check out of my hotel and there was this lady and she was sitting downstairs and she was like, she looked like a little bit sad. And I was like, oh, are you guys waiting to check in? And she goes, oh, what is, do you work here? And I was like, I was just wondering, and she goes, well, don't speak to me then. <laughs> and I'm like, how rude. I was just trying to be friendly. Like, it was the rudest thing I've ever encountered, trying to just have, like, a passing conversation. Anyway, I'm sorry, lady, that you're having a bad day, and I'm not going to let your rudeness make me feel upset. So off I go to Equitana. I hope the lady has a good day and gets to check out. This little horse is going to tell me how I ask her too much or she doesn't understand is her head's going to raise up a little bit. So first thing, back off, go backwards, start again, uh, just back off a step and get really relaxed the, the position you had before or the age you had before. I need to push his mind to her out to have him straight on the surface. If you put your outside of the leg on, yeah, uh, count the camera, but make sure that pass the duty the charges on the straight so that they don't start anticipating. So anyway. That's a very, very little short version of about two years of training. So Hi guys, I'm here with my mate Kenny, Pink Kenny. I'm just gonna ask him for one sentence of advice in um, about getting into horsemanship. Where would you start? Start on the ground, start yeah. at the beginning, take each step by step and be thoroughly comfortable with each step before you go to the next step and have someone to help get someone to stand with you if you're a little nervous it doesn't matter if they're just a friend but someone to give you a little bit of moral support there will be times when you get nervous take heed watch those nerves they're supposed to keep you safe Amazing. but if but if you 
feel like you're getting nervous too much, go back on the ground and read it. Amazing! Thanks, Ken, and My we pleasure. all love your pink shirt. Oh, <laughs> thank you. So I'm just watching the chase hunt, which I've never seen before. Um, I'm going to try and bring some footage of that for you guys because I feel like I haven't got that much stuff on my YouTube video. But I'm also going to check some stories from my Instagram in. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. It's almost the end of it. Come on, pony. Oh, good try. This is called The Way of the Horse. This is actually the finale. These three girls got given three untouched horses that they had to basically start from scratch and get as far as they could in a three hour time frame over the three days. Having a bit of a chat is always interesting stuff to learn and also just watching other people do what they do. That's probably the big, that's probably the most enjoyable part for me is mixing with people with other disciplines. So this is the final part of the finale. So they got put in a larger arena and they had to basically show off what they had taught their horse. I actually really loved this girl. Her name was Haley. I thought she did the best job with her horse. So this girl here, her name is Skye. She's the one who actually won the way of the horse. She ended up mounting her horse and riding around a little bit in the finale. I personally think Haley did a really good job of listening and communicating to her horse. From a natural horsemanship point of view, I think she should have won. But uh, at the end of the day, it was a competition and um, Sky was the one who got on. So 
kudos to her and it was very enjoyable to watch all of the girls work with their horses. guys i am signing off that is equitana 2022 that's a wrap i had such a good time i hope you guys enjoyed all my stories i hope i shared enough and didn't talk too much i had so much fun it was so cool i met so many people i met a few people from instagram um i met some really cool trainers i absolutely loved ken faulkner i had a really good time and i hope you guys enjoyed my story chat to him about the surfacing and some earthworks and stuff like that that they might be able to potentially do had a slight argument about where places were in South Australia with him he was like um you know Mount George and I was like uh, Mount George isn't a place in South Australia um turns out it is so Martin Collins if you're watching I'm sorry for not knowing my own state but I really have not ever heard of Mount George it's a while away from my house so forgive me oh for fuck's sake what the fuck is wrong with me